Hello YouTube, it's me KJ and welcome to another video. Today is a day two of the Cartagena Columbia the vlogs. I really cannot get over the street view from my hotel. I love looking at it. It's like basically 6 a.m. right now. I woke up at 4, could not get back to sleep. I don't know why I woke up at 4 because that's like 2 a.m. California time so I really had no reason to be up that early but I was and I tried to get back to sleep but I didn't and so I'm up now but I have somewhere to be by 7 the latest but I'm gonna try and get there at like 6 30 because I don't want to miss it like I missed yesterday so yeah I'm about to eat breakfast open not eat I'm about to get ready breakfast opens at 6 then we can eat and then we're gonna go ahead and head out so what I ended up doing that day was I hopped on a boat. It took a lot to get here. It was kind of messy and irritating, honestly, but eventually I made it. We got on a boat and we went island hopping. The Rosario Islands are a group of islands off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. So that is where we got to spend our day. Um, we started out with scuba diving. If you've seen my travel vlogs before, you know this is not new for me. Not scuba diving, snorkeling, jeez louise. I'm not going to go scuba diving. We went snorkeling and there was coral. Um, we looked over coral reefs. And honestly, as a child, I was led to believe there are only coral reefs in Australia and that they're all endangered. But everywhere I go, there's a coral reef. So mm, I don't know about that. I mean, they're still endangered, but they exist elsewhere. And there were little fish in these ones, little statues. It was all very interesting. And then we went on to eat. I'm officially off the boat. Maybe now you'll be able to actually see me, depending on how the sliding is going. But we made it to where we're having lunch. This is her. Very cute. They're like neon orange. Love it. And we all ordered the fish, I think. So I'm ready for that. We're gonna have more of us around this place. So it seems really pretty. This is where you enter, and then the, the bridge to the different pools. I want to know what's upstairs. Excuse me. You travel by yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh. Where are you from? Uh, LA. LA? Yeah. Okay. My girlfriend wanted to meet you, she just, you know, saw you by yourself and we was wondering, you know, introducing ourselves. Oh yeah. Yourself. Well, it's always nice to meet people. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla? Yes. I'm Carl. Carl. My girlfriend, she's Kelly. Kelly. Yes. Okay, I'll yes. stop by and yes, say hi to her when yeah, you come She was asking about you. She was like, I wanted to see by herself, you know, <laughs> see her by herself. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wanted to introduce work. herself. Well, she come back, yeah, step, step out. Alright, thank you. There's a boat. We want a hut. What's in the hut? Probably nothing. <laughs> Nothing, but I want to spend it. Um, one thing about solo travel, it can be a little lonely theoretically, because you're always alone. But people notice you're alone, and then they want to talk to you. I've talked to pretty much all the English speakers on my boat, just because. Oh, there's a lay down hammock up here. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm getting in the lay down hammock. If I can figure it out. They'll give me two seconds. Yeah. 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 It's like a chandelier, but there's no lights. Its purpose is just to be cute. Love it. Why is Flash on? He <laughs> keeps turning his up on. Yeah, we ordered plates already. I got the fish plate. We'll see what that ends up looking like. Hopefully, there's no head. I'm not a head girl. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna chill until our food gets here, but I wanted to show you around because this place is really cute. Like, are you kidding me? This is adorable. These like tables in the water, and they bring you a very expensive drink. I got a pina colada. I'm told it tastes like pineapple. <laughs> 
So as you saw, we also went to a party island, and then our final island for the night was just one to chill. I got a shoulder massage there. There was a man with a dog who was angry at everyone. I did some swimming. I did some sandcastle building. I really chilled there for quite a while, and then at night, we got on that boat that you saw in the background right there. Yeah, we got on that boat and went around and saw, like, bioluminescent algae um i got to do this in puerto rico as well they're just little little tiny dots in the water that glow i couldn't show it because it was so late at night but basically as you swim everywhere that you move will glow like a sort of neon green so it was a really cool effect but i couldn't show it on camera because it was just too late at night and too dark but just trust me it was worth the wait so after that went home went to bed woke up and here's my next day in colombia Hello YouTube, it's VKG and welcome to another video. I did open the window because I sprayed bug spray. Definitely still choked on it, but we can close the window. Um, it is day three of the Cartagena vlog. I just did a whole morning excursion. So he's just ready to work here. That play was made. Alright guys, I am usually not a history person, but this was very interesting. On the drive here, we learned about this native woman who was one of the first natives to learn English and really helped her people like communicate with the English speakers who came over. And now we are learning about the town's famous um, salt processing and exporting. And in learning about that, we got to kind of sample out, like test out what the salt grinding machine not machine, like situation, you see it, what this process was like. Some groups didn't exactly have rhythm, but that's okay. And we also got to take home some salt samples. So I have a little bit of fancy Colombian salt to cook up some meals with. Love that for me. After this, you are going to see, we went to a sort of salt lake reserve kind of thing. And sometimes it's pink because of the effects of the salt. Of course, it wasn't pink when I went, but it was bubbling, which was interesting. So you're going to get to see that. And then after that, we went to a mud volcano. The mud there is said to be healing, good for the skin, the pores, whatever. So we went in the mud and it's like seven feet of mud, but you float in it, interestingly enough. So you're going to see me float in the mud. You get a little massage in there. It's nice. We've come to a place called the Pink Sea, which is where they collect the salt that we were just learning to talk about. Of course, it is not pink. Why would it be pink when I come to see it? <laughs> but sometimes it is. And regardless, this is where that special salt grows, <laughs> is developed. And there's bubbles on the shore for some reason. I want to touch them, but I don't know what they are. So I'll just stick to looking at it. I am going to touch the bubbles. Hmm. Interesting. Don't know what just filmed what did it. There's a beautiful town. And after you fish in the mud, you go and rinse off in the lake over there. And I am almost up. Come on, you can get a massage, or you can just chill. It's good for your skin, good for the spirit. It would be nice. Well, not nice. I wonder if it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 If we'll call it and I should be able to talk a good amount of this activity for once I think I'm going somewhere where they will be playing music so we will chat when we get there all right and we are now live at the castle 
Castillo de San Felipe, the castle of San Felipe. Um, there are tunnels to explore here, so that's what I came for. One thing I will say about Colombia that I've noticed in my trip, if you've been coming here and say so you've been reading travel guides to like learn how much things are going to cost, one thing I have definitely noticed is inflation has inflated, Miss Girl. Inflation has inflated because tell me why the guides that I was reading were all talking about seven pesos admission. Seven pesos admission. And I just got charged 30. All of these taxi rides that were supposed to be 10 pesos have been 30, 40. All of these meals that were supposed to be 15 pesos have been 40, 50. Inflation inflated over here. Okay, so whatever they told you, they were wrong. But it is an uphill climb to, I don't even know where I'm going actually. Uh, lots of people are taking pictures, but I'm flying solo. Don't really have anyone to take a picture of me, and I don't care that much, so that's fine. Uh, vendors here. There are vendors everywhere. I still haven't bought any souvenirs because I want waist beads. I keep seeing a lot of jewelry, but it's never waist beads. I also don't have a lot of money left because when I first got here, I went to currency exchange. They only took cash and they only had 70 USD cash. So that's all that I could exchange. So I don't have a ton left. So I don't know about a souvenir. I really don't know about all that. But look at the city from up here. I'm staying like over there, Boca Grande. No, I'm not. I'm staying over there in Boca Grande. Yeah. So that must be Jessamati. There's two sides to the city. I'm in Boca Grande. You can pay for an audio tour, but I'm fine just reading the descriptions. So generally, this castle is for the military. The tunnels that run underneath have cannons and explosives in them, or they did, and so they could blow up these as needed to stop people from passing and entering the other side of the city. 11 16 pound cannons and a fortified house in the center. Okay, I'm not really all that interested in military stuff anyway, so I don't like care, but that is the other side that they were trying to protect. I guess they, they succeeded in protecting it. Can't look through that, sickening. Let's, no. I was gonna say, let me put my camera in and see if I can do a photo, but it's a downward slope. So I'm actually just gonna carry on with my life. Oh, look at the city view though. It's Gorgiana up here. I'll give them that, maybe here. What can you see from here? Is this worth anything? As far as photos go? Not really. Not really. This would be the photo. But I do not have the camera <laughs> to make this happen. Not the camera. I have the camera. I don't have the person. The assistant. Maybe here. What do we see from here? Okay, that works. This works. I can do this. No description. So I don't know what's over here, but looks interesting. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. Photo. But I can't. Maybe if I put my phone on the stairs. Hola. Hola. Hola, boy. Boy. There's the photo. Mm -hmm. 
Trust me, it's cute. All right. The problem is that this place kind of has so many options that I don't know where I am and I don't know where I've been. But these are the cannons. <laughs> Some of them, at least. Gosh. Hello, golden hour. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Nah, the sun is slaying right now. I'm gonna get a selfie. I lied. <laughs> um, also, there's not a lot of American tourists in Colombia. There are some English speaking, some, but not a lot of Americans. So usually I'm I'm one of a kind. Uh, tourists are just from other South American countries. Like they've come from Argentina or something. I don't know why I didn't consider that as a possibility, but I just didn't. This photo is it's it's a it's a what's it? Oh, this is a slide. Okay. Look how much more of it there is. I guess that that part's not open to us because literally nobody's down there, but there's these triangles with no one. Hola, mi vida. Hola. ¿Me entiendes el español? No. No? English. Okay, mira. Danger, ¿vale? Zona de perdido. No. Like. Si te caes. Okay. Dale, mi reina. Hola. I can't lean against the uh, ledge. Which I was doing, so fair enough. Makes sense. Can't have the girls falling off. Okay, really quickly, I found more tunnels. But this is like the tunnels, I think. This isn't, I'm not gonna look at that. That's a prison cell. There's a man in there. He yells at you if you stare too long, and I don't like it. I know it's part of the like little thing, but I don't like it. But, anyways, the tunnels have like different directions you can go in and all these different routes. And it's really dark. And my camera's gonna die anyway. So just trust me. I'm gonna look through the tunnels and report to you later on how it went. I think they're cool or not. Instead of an escalator, they have like an upward flat thing. They get the elevator. And all these hanging Halloween decorations. And a bowling alley. Let's see if anybody's gonna throw one today. There they go. Yeah, so long story short, I wandered into a shopping mall. I was trying to go to a restaurant that's somewhere in here. It's upstairs again. I don't want to go upstairs. Honestly, I feel kind of sick. Don't know why. Probably my kidneys. I have a doctor's appointment after this trip. Um, so... I'm debating going and eating like I wanted to, or just going home. If I go home, then for dinner I have to eat the hotel food, which might be garbage. If I stay here, this place has burgers and wings. They have a lot of burgers, wings, pizza, and pasta. That's a lot of the food out here. So I could eat that, but I don't feel well. So I don't know if that's gonna be good, but I, I, I don't I'm so sure I don't know what I'm gonna do. During my taxi drive home, my stomach settled from the nausea. I did realize I was hungry, so just coming back is a good idea. I'm at the hotel next door, and I'm gonna get dinner. I was gonna get a burger, but honestly, they have these nachos that look a ton better and are more of a Hispanic food. I need to be <laughs> not eating American food while I'm on vacation. So I'm gonna get, I was gonna get a watermelon juice, but they have a drink. So I'm gonna do their little watermelon drink and their little Colombian nachos. Maybe the chocolate cake, because they take cars, so I don't have to spend my few remaining pesos. So that's the plan, and I'm feeling good. My camera is still acting like it's gonna die, so I'll come back when I have the food. It's straight up watermelon juice with vodka and these nachos look freaking fire so we're gonna see how much my dying camera lets me record
bottom, which is sweet, so it like balances it out. It's really good. These next clips come from November 6th, my official birthday. I wanted to go to the bird Avery, I believe it's called, and just look at the birds. And so they had these parrots that you could have on your arm, but I just really didn't want a bird on me foreshadowing and then there was this sort of like iguana creature thing that went on to tail whip someone later so you know rip to them <laughs> um and then they had a bird show which i thought would be inhumane for a second but it was like super chill birds flew in they got a treat and then they flew out there were no like flaming hoops or anything like that it was really just so that we could get a better look at them but even just with it being as simple as it was i did enjoy looking at the birds that I looked at and watched them get their treats. I wish I could tell you why I wanted to see birds for my birthday. I just, I don't know. I just did. But like, imagine being able to fly. That junk is sick. And they had an owl. An owl? Like, I was so fascinated, so enthralled. I, I don't know where this interest in birds came from, but it was there. Um, and then we were scared our tour guide was going to skip them, but we, he let us see the flamingos, and we got pictures with them. They were so pink. It was it was cute. I loved the flamingos. And then there was like this sort of creature thing, and he ended up being a little bit aggressive. He didn't like that we existed, so we had to steer clear of him. He was very mad at us. And after that, we got to this area where I commented that the birds in this sort of enclosure were really friendly because there was this one just sitting right next to this lady and he just didn't care and they were all chilling. All the birds over there were super friendly. And I just thought that that was weird. And then right after I said that, I saw this freaking toucan and this happened. Hi. They do it. <laughs> it flew on to me. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't do not step away. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't know if you heard that, but that toucan flew into my hair, grabbed onto one of my twists, and I was trying to shake it out. It would not let go. One other guy, who I'm actually going to talk about later, had to come and like physically, like, Crop, pry it out of my hair. So that was my experience with the birds. It was really fun and really interesting, but I was almost brutally murdered by Sam the Toucan from Fruit Loops. Hello again. It is nighttime and my life has gotten chaotic since we last saw each other. So we went to the bird exhibit, loved it. After that, we went to the beach. I swam like the entire time. So I didn't film myself swimming because I can't get my camera stole, can't get my camera wet. So just trust me, I was, I was. I was playing mermaids, I was playing ballet, I, the, your girl was in the ocean. Came back, washed my hair, took a shower, by delicious. Then, I got out of the shower, put my towel on the sink, because I'm just trying to move myself around. Tell me why the sink snaps. When I first got here, I feel like I filmed the sink being wobbly. But now, she, she, girl. And the hotel is already mad at me because yesterday's towel was quite dirty. So they're already like, what is this? So I, I tried to rinse off the towel. It's from the mud volcano. Like, of course it's gonna be, it, I was muddy. So they're already like, girl, what's good with this towel? And now my sink broke. And I tried to call downstairs and tell them my sink broke, but the phone is only in Spanish. So I'm, re I'm getting ready for my birthday dinner. And on the way out, I'm gonna tell them, by the way, my sink broke. Don't ask me no questions about it, cause I don't know, I don't, I don't have no answers. Not that it broke. With that being said, how do you like the makeup look? I think it's really cute. I've been using concealer lately, which I normally don't use any face products at all, but I've been bringing concealer into the mix. I also put my blush in a slightly different place. I've also been using blush, something that I was very much against in the past, but I've, you know, I've made amends with blush. We've become friends, so. This is going to be the dress, my yellow one, 
right right slay and then the shoes miss girl my barbie heels i bought these to wear to barbie and now i'm wearing them to my birthday dinner so i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i have to go downstairs and tell them that they're safe broke and hopefully they're not mad at me because I literally, if your sink cannot withstand a towel, that's not my fault. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not my fault. So yeah, let me finish. <laughs> oh, there's a man yelling it. And as always, I've decided to go to a restaurant called, um, I forgot, Rebel Fun Kitchen. They have a really yummy looking fish thing that I want to try. Day one, because on day one, there was traffic and I missed my excursion. But if the traffic is surprising even the locals, then clearly there's nothing that can be done about it. Like it's just, it's just Okay. Yeah, so if the traffic is even surprising my tour guide, then it's just traffic down. And for, for the traffic to make, it made me 30 minutes late. It made him an hour late. It's kind of like, it just comes out of nowhere and there's nothing you could do about it. Like it took us an hour to get back to the hotels tonight when it was supposed to take 45 minutes. The traffic just kind of does what it wants to do. Especially if the road's blood. I came here to try, I had rice puffs. Let me just show you the damn picture. Rice puffs with tuna tartare and avocado and it looked good and I showed him the picture and he was like I don't know what it is so then I tried to get the whole menu and found it on there and I was like I want this this is not looking amazing and he told me no I don't know why maybe they don't have it maybe it is an appetizer maybe they just won't give me an appetizer as a meal I don't know that's what I came here for, and you're not giving it to me. So I got lobster instead. The lobster was cheaper. So I'm just gonna deal. And they don't have any cake here. I want cake. Do I need cake today? Can I not just go home without cake? Now I'm gonna get the cake. Yeah, so I need to figure out where I'm gonna get some birthday cake from. They don't have any here. Um, I also ordered a drink. I said I wasn't going to drink. But then I was looking at the drink menu and they had something I had never heard of. So I was like, well, I gotta try it at least. Alright, here's my mysterious drink with ingredients I've never heard of. Time to try it. Do you think it will be good? Leave your guesses in the comments down below. Right now. Oh, I wish there was a way to get the camera up higher. That's not the way. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna make this happen. There you go. Hang out. Alright. Is it good? Did you guess? While you're down there, give this video a like. Thanks. It is my birthday, so. You know, you could subscribe too. Thanks. That's it. That is good. Not like anything I've had before. I'm happy I got it. It is good. And then this is the food. It's not the delicious meal I wanted. But it'll have to do. Big mouth, yet again. You guys, you guys already know it's up. But I'm gonna take some pictures of my birthday meal. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm back as you can see and I went to put my card in here and I see this shit is coming off the wall like your sink is broken your wall is broken I'm sure read about a towel that you could just simply wash because the same there's mud on the towel that's why they're mad about it but the same mud that's on the towel was on my swimsuit that I didn't even have a washing machine to wash I simply rinsed. My swimsuit is fucking fine and they're charging me for the towel. 
The charm is like $12, which is expensive for one towel, but like I'm not worried about it. It's just annoying me. I'm just annoyed with it. Uh, yeah, I'm back. The food was pretty good. Honestly, it wasn't my, my little rice crisp with tuna tartare, but it was good. It was good. And more than I wanted cake, I honestly just wanted some very cold water. So that's what I came back to my hotel to get. Um, so that's that's my birthday. I ended up feeling a lot better once the day got started. Like I think I needed my morning to kind of sulk, not really be in my bag. But once things kicked off, I felt a lot better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Crispy. I met this guy from Canada today, and he's 22, and he already has his master's degree and is, you know, applying to be a PhD candidate at 22. And what he did was he went, he studied undergrad in the UK. So then he spent all of undergrad traveling Europe and Asia and all of that. He's very well traveled. He's been pretty much everywhere. Him and this other guy who were really well traveled were talking about like, oh yeah, like I tried that in Belize. It was great. Oh my gosh, if you had Italian food, oh my gosh, the Greeks, they don't really look like the stereotypes. Oh my gosh, like have you, have you even, have you even, have you even with Bolivia? Like they were just going off about all of their travel escapades and he's, like he just seems to have his life on lock. He's spending six weeks now in South America rolling around. He's not even it's not even just Cartagena. He's he's in Cartagena today. He leaves tomorrow and goes somewhere else. Like he's me if I hadn't graduated in twenty twenty. If I had graduated before or after COVID on ya, he would be a lot more like me because I really was gonna travel. I really, really was. I really really was and he's also me if I had known I was going to be unemployed for basically a year. If I had known that, yeah I would have applied to a UK master's program and been traveling Europe. I definitely, that would have been me. I, that would have been me. Um, so that's one thing that I do think about. It's not so much being 25, it's just the fact that this last year, my 24th year feels wasted. It wasn't wasted but it just felt so stagnant. And it was stagnant in a way that I didn't want and in a way that I didn't predict. I just ended up not really doing anything because I had a job. Like even this trip, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. It depends on if I get a job. If I do, like, are they going to let me leave as soon as I start? I don't know. And now here, here, here I am. I could stay here another two, three, four, five weeks. No one cares because I have nowhere to be. But I can't stay here another two, three, four, five weeks. Because my money ain't, ain't money in like that, really. My savings ain't saved like that. They are, but I don't like spending them. Like this little towel that they charging me for, I'm like, but that's my money. Over a towel you could just simply wash. When your hotel is junky anyway, got the shit falling out the wall, got the sink falling out the counter. I need to take this dress off and I'm not wearing a bra, so please give me a second. Just look that way, okay? I'll keep talking. He just had everything together. And even, but the thing is, even people who you think have it all together, who you think have like, your ideal perfect life, they have their own insecurities. Because he was up there like, yeah, okay, I have this schooling and stuff, but he asked me, what do I do for a living? I told him what I used to do. And <laughs> I didn't tell him that I don't have a job. I tend to not tell people that. But I told him what I used to do. And he was like, oh, like design, that's so cool. And who's saying he feels behind because he hasn't really had like a full-time career job, all his friends have, and he feels kind of like he's just not used to working, not really making as much money as he could be making. He feels like he should be pushing himself more to move out of his parents' house, although he is, he was Persian, so he was all saying like, it's with the culture for me to stay, but I don't know, like it's hard to feel like an adult. Man, I leave college and come home and don't have a job and just roam around the country, like it just feels weird. And I'm like, no, man, that's, that's the dream. But you know, everybody has insecurities, even people who are seemingly perfect are not actually perfect. So at this point, I feel like for me, to be sitting around like, I'm 25, but I don't have a job, I don't have a husband, I don't have a house, I don't have house savings, I don't have, I don't have my investments together, I don't have a money going, I don't have money, I don't, it just was silly. Because the people who do have all those things are said to think about what they don't have. Because you really can't have it all, especially 
in American culture, because that's another thing we were talking about. Me, the Persian guy, and the other well-traveled guy. I think he was Chilean from Chile, from Chile, from Chile. That's how they pronounce it, right? Um, <laughs> that's another thing we were talking about, just different cultures around the world. And I was obviously giving the American perspective, and they were talking about like the way that they grew up, and uh, you know, the guy was talking about college, the other guy mentioned his schooling. And I just explained it in America, because I, you know. Uh, foreigners don't like us. I don't know if you do that. They don't. And so I like to explain to people why it is that Americans don't travel. And so I was telling them America is such a good country. You can experience everything there. We don't get any time off work. And it's not really socialized to travel after school. Like in other countries, it's very much graduate high school, take a year abroad, graduate college, take a year abroad, do a semester abroad, go go find yourself. It's not really the way in America. It's more so get a job, get an internship. It's summer. Where's your co op? If you're not prepping for work, you're a loser. And it's, you know, underlined with people like me who didn't work the way that they wanted to work and my mom's calling me. Let me talk to my mom. <laughs> hello. Okay, hello. Finish my call with my mom. Um, I think I was talking about American culture for travel. Yeah, it's not really a part of our culture. I like to explain that to people because they see Americans as just like dummies, which we are. Um, and they see people as like uncultured or very like American focused, which we are. There's a lot of propaganda in America and especially when our culture and our work conditions make it kind of very difficult for people to especially like affordability it just makes it all very difficult for people to travel outside of the u.s especially when the u.s is so big and if you want to go to a mountain you can do that in the u.s you want to go to a beach you can do that in the u.s you want to go to a tropical rainforest you can do that in the u.s you want to go to you know 10 feet of snow you can do that in the u.s just all of those factors combined along with the like propagandizing of like the idea that everyone in any second or third world country wants to come to america america's the dream all of europe is just like america cosplaying like they're trying to be as good as us but they're just not there that whole situation makes it so that we just don't really leave the country and don't really know what's going on elsewhere. So I, I like to explain that to people and give them a little bit of insight into why we are the way that we are. And hopefully maybe make people stop hating Americans one travel trip at a time. And if not, then I'll just start telling people I'm Canadian and problem solved. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had a really good day. And I just, a lot of my concerns have kind of melted away now that I've actually turned 25 because I just feel like it doesn't even matter. Because even if I had done everything I wanted to do, there would be other things that I wanted to do. My finish line would continue to move forever, so it is what it is. With that being said, I am going to actually take this makeup off and get in bed and just relax. Check out day showcase. Hello, YouTube. It is me, KD. Welcome to another video. Today is the last day of my Cartagena, Colombia birthday trip of vlogs. I woke up this morning, packed. I'm about to go to breakfast and then after breakfast i'm gonna come back up here double check you know check under the bed check the drawers all that make sure i like actually pack and then we are gonna go explore the gen some i don't know how to pronounce it still neighborhood in Cartagena. and then we are packing up and heading on our flight and this is the breakfast today same situation charcuterie and some pity eggs we have hush puppies i think I think that's chorizo. I don't eat pork, so I might not eat that, but I just wanted to see what it was. So I wasn't really sure. <laughs> Alright guys, I checked out, left the hotel. I've also been able to do dudes. That playa means beach. Um so the streets are still flooded. I'm trying to walk to that neighborhood I mentioned. I see it in the distance, it looks far away. But the streets are still flooded. So I like started walking on the sidewalk and then walking more, you know, further and further and then and not by the beach. It's a little abandoned beach because there's a construction zone. But some people, mostly the locals, are coming through here to avoid the flooding. My 30 minute walk ended up becoming an hour long walk because Google was taking me to nowhere. But I'm here now, more or less. And I'm realizing you're not really gonna have a good time being blind in Colombia. Because there is no rhyme or reason to how people navigate the streets. Like you just simply go. People walk like they don't see you and drive like you're not there. So if you can't see and there's no like stoplights, no crosswalks, none of the little button press across the street thingies that'll beep for you, 
nothing. You're just gonna die. Like, I don't know how you would navigate this. So I've made it to the Umbrella Street. I don't know what else to call it. There are murals on the walls, strange chicken, and umbrellas in the sky. <laughs> um, tons of restaurants. This lady just moved me because I was in her photo. Like, okay. <laughs> and then they have some flags over here, like South American countries, I believe. Oh, this is cute. You like stand at the all right, stand at the wings. Yeah. I might just take that photo. I'm just taking photos because I came all the way out here. I'm sweating like a pig. So I'm gonna endure all of that. I'm gonna get some get some pictures. They're not gonna be good, but I'm gonna at least try. It is 11.30, and I'll say if you can taxi here, knock yourself up and come. If you how are with, ooh, if you were with someone else, show up. But by yourself trying to take your own photos, do not come here. Because it is about hot as all hell. And like, yes, it's pretty. Yes, I'm getting photos of the city itself. But pictures of me are not happening. See like this right here where a man stands in the street and takes your photo. That's not happening for me. And even if it was, I'm literally sweating so much. I just don't think it's possible. Uh, no español. No. Uh, and it's a billion trillion million degrees. Um, don't wanna go down the street. I think I don't know. <laughs> We're at Kite Kite Street, I guess. Um, different streets have different upward hanging uh, declarations. It's not just the umbrellas, although that street seems the most iconic. Mm, no. So I could go in there and it'd be great if I could, but I can't. Yeah, so I kind of feel like just going back and um, I need to check out my SD card. I need to I've made it to the Columbia International Airport. Home sweet home. I have made it. I didn't get in bed last night until about 4 a.m. But to wrap up this video, I got a box. Can you see it? Can you see it? I got a box from my mom. And I got a card from my boyfriend's mom. Shout out to the moms. So let's open <laughs> let's open up my little birthday presents and then we will call this birthday trip a wrap. Mom said she just got me a bunch of miscellaneous, so we're gonna see. First thing I'm seeing is ponytail holders, and this is good because I have regular ponytail holders, but I also have some of the fabric ones. But I don't use the fabric ones because like I only have one pack of them. So now I have two packs of them, so I will actually use them. <laughs> this is what I mean by the fabric ones. She really did give us that. Oh, the holding bag! No, 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 no. No, it's a little zipper holder, but I literally needed one. My last one broke. Wow. She knew. A coin purse inside of it. Oh, this is like a bag bag. This is a purse. Oh, that's even better. Banana? Oh. <laughs> it's a shirt. It's a shirt. I mean, it's stretchy, but... It is stretchy. <laughs> I just need to try it on. But are y'all seeing why I feel apprehensive about the size of this shirt? But it is stretchy, though. It'll probably fit in, in some kind of way. It might be a crop top, but it'll fit. 
What did she steal this envelope with? Okay. <laughs> not the envelope feels thick. We're not gonna worry about that. Um, <laughs> celebrating the day the awesomeness began. Little holographic pink, Miss Girl. Mm. A little twenty-five dollar gift, you girl. Okay, activation information. Okay. Celebrating the one and only you. Happy birthday. From the Sanders. Why would she sign it to the Sanders? It's from her. <laughs> I know it's from her. <laughs> she gonna act like, no, this is from his brother, his dad. No, girl. <laughs> I know it was you. So I will see you guys for Christmas decor, potentially. Until then. Doodle-doo.